I'm going to show the new AuroraNet software and how you can use it for different applications. First, in this example here, we have a VO system where we have 12 VOL208s over six S118 subs. I also have an additional sub online so I can show you some features in the AuroraNet software. And we also have the AC26, which is now supported in AuroraNet. One of my favorite features of this is the fact that you have a signal flow diagram. So now you have a full view of what the AC26 can do. So you have your input compression, input EQ, input level, delays, uh, polarity, muting. You can, you, can link all of those two, you can link those two inputs together and then you could feed them to any of your outputs. You have six outputs and you can determine um, you know, which of those input sources those outputs are receiving. And then you also have additional EQ on each output. So we have our six outputs here. So you have EQ there. You also have input EQ. So I can add an input uh, EQ filter there, or I could also uh, add some EQ filters on my output. And on top of all that, you have crossovers and high pass filters and low pass filters. So you can do total system alignment with, with an AC26. So if I wanted to send my subs you know, a separate signal from the tops. I can do all my alignment here. I can choose to look at input metering and I'm able to see my AC26 is getting signal, but my sub is not. The gray units are offline, so I that, that explains why I'm not getting any signal there. Um, a very cool, useful feature is the fact that you can build your system completely offline and then once you get on site, you can merge the offline units to the online units. So you can uh, choose different options that you want to view on a global status. So you can look at input level, we can look at output metering. So these are my six outputs on the AC26. I can see that we're not getting any signal on the outputs and that's because I actually have it muted. So I can see all the outputs are muted there. Um, we can also look at you know name, so I know exactly what's what. I can see these are all VOL 208s. These are my S 118s. Here's my AC 26. You can also look at the temperature. So this is very useful for like outdoor festivals where the temperature it's a it's a you know it's it's very hot outside. So if you wanted to monitor the temperature of your system, you can look at it as a you know a cold to hot ratio as far as the gauge goes, or you could actually see the actual power supply temperature of the unit when you just double click on the box. Another cool feature is firmware. So if these were all online, I can see what firmware versions they have. So it's very easy to get a global view of, of your system to make sure all your firmware is matching. And then we also have the ability to mute and solo different frames. And if you're in, if you're doing a show, then you might actually put it in show mode so you cannot actually accidentally mute or solo something. So one thing that I'm going to show you real quick is how to do uh, your, your, your crossover point alignments. So let's say that I wanted to choose my crossover points between the tops and the subs. So I can very easily do that by choosing all of my VOL 208s here and choosing the inspector down here and if I change my high pass frequency here to let's say we want to do 90 Hertz if I did the same for over here now all of my L208s have a high pass filter at 90 Hertz so then I would do the same for my subs so if I choose all my subs I can choose my crossover frequency to be 90 Hertz and I'm choosing true link so that way the output of one sub is passing the unprocessed signal to the next sub hence me using the true link and now I've set my crossover point between the tops and the subs at 90 Hertz a couple other cool features is we have the the cardioid function so if you go to the preset tab on the subs if I enable this on the rear facing sub now my alignment is done so the the time aspect, the polarity, and the level is all done for you just by engaging the cardioid option on the rear facing sub. Uh, you could also group everything together, so I can even do auto grouping. So it knows that there's different models here, so if I just check yes, then it's gonna automatically group my S118s and my L208s to two different groups. 
So now I've grouped my entire system so I have a full view of my tops and subs. So I can easily mute my mains, I can easily mute my tops, I can easily mute my, my subs, and I can easily look at my, my, my signal coming into my mains. I can easily add delay down here, and then of course you can do your group group EQ so you can you, know, you can tune the entire PA through your groups. So you just add a bunch of filters and EQ away. So that's a roar net. There's a lot more. Um, this is just kind of the basis of it. And I'm sure we'll make some more videos soon.